this little character is Snuggles. And if you want to see her fetching abilities, stay tuned after the credits. Hey everybody, Brad C here. Just thought I'd do a quick review on this Abers Sleep Sound Machine. Now this is something that I bought to basically keep our dogs from barking. I just moved into a new house and they're a little bit on edge, so I thought I would get something that will hopefully take a little bit of the, you know, the, the bark out of them. So let's take this out of the box and see what we got here. Okay, here's what comes with this. You have your cord, which is got a USB connection there. Here is the USB end, and then the other end is similar to like what's on an Android phone, at least on mine. This is a customer card where you can scan it and go to their customer email site. This is the manual, very simple manual. It goes over all the specs and all the buttons, but I'm going to go over those to make it easier. Now this is four by four by three inches. So that's the size of this. Of the weight, I don't have a scale handy, but just off the feel of it, probably about two, maybe three pounds. So it doesn't feel totally heavy duty, but for what I paid for this, 30 bucks, it was one of the cheaper ones on Amazon. I'll put links in the description to this and some other choices out there too that I think might be good. But for me, I wanted to spend about 30 bucks max. I like the fact that this is going to be sturdy as far as skid. You can't skid this long because on the bottom are two little rubber slits. And those are going to grip whatever it's on. So very smart design there. Now on the back, you can have your plug-in on the right, which will plug in your actual cord. And then on your left is a headphone jack. And I'll test that out to see if that works as well. If you just wanted to listen to these sounds on your own and you didn't want you know, this to disturb someone, you know, some people may be buying this to help get themselves to sleep, but their partner is not happy with you know that noise going on. So this would provide them the individual attention. Now the front is basically just the, the speaker and up here you're going to have three settings and that is the timing indicator. This is 30, 60, and 90 minutes. You have your timer. Then you have here's the volume down, here's the volume up, here is for the previous track, here is for the next track, and here is the power on and off. And those are pretty self-explanatory just by looking at them. We're going to go ahead and plug this in, and of course that attached back here, and we're going to go ahead and hit the power button. And that automatically turns it on something. <laughs> something I am not interested in hearing. <laughs> that is a railroad track. I definitely know that. I used to be a railroad conductor. You can switch to different sounds. Oh boy, that would be irritating. A heartbeat. That might be soothing to some people. Some white noise. button so when you click on this it's going to light these up in 30 60 and 90 minute increments so click once for 30 minutes and it'll shut off after 30 minutes or if you want it to be for 60 minutes or if you want it to be for 90 minutes and then you click it again and it goes off the timer function if you left it like this without the timer then it would just stay on for as long as you had it plugged in and we're going to see if i can hear this through the headphones i would assume i could 
Now you're going to have to take my word for it, but the headphone function does work. I plugged it in and I'm listening to the ticking sound right now. This little character here, Winford, is actually pretty good. He's a good boy. But his little sister, Snuggles, she's about as ornery as they come. So if anything is outside, they are definitely alerting us to their presence, which is which is good. You know, we want them to let us know if someone's outside. But sometimes we just want to be left alone. So we have this sound machine on. And hopefully we'll could tell these guys. This little character is Snuggles. If you want to see her fetching abilities, stay tuned after the credits. But she is the ornery one of this group. I know you are. Okay, I'll put links in the description to this and some other ones if you're looking to spend a little bit more. Make sure you like, subscribe, and you can check me out at bradctv.com. Alright, so see you want to play some? Alright, I'll take those ES. Snuggles is probably the best fetcher in the world, and I'm not just saying that. She loves to fetch. She'll do it all day long. She'll bring the ball back to you. In fact, you have to have a safe ball like this. <laughs> Otherwise, she's going to be throwing it at your feet all day, tripping you. So you can't have a tennis ball or anything like that around here. And if you throw it perfectly, she will catch it in the air. I'll try to attempt one. She's very, very talented. And she does not play around. This is not a game to her. This is serious business. She gets that ball every time, and she stops as fast as she can. If, if it's something she can stop short, she will stop it short. It's very difficult to get a dog to bring stuff back to you. Well, dogs will go fetch something, but then they want you to chase them. She, on the other hand, is ready. She knows how this game works. Oh, I miss film that. Keep in mind, I'm throwing with one hand. And... Now, Winford, he does not like her getting in his territory, so I'm going to just be a little bit ornery here. Uh, yeah, I guess that didn't work that time, did it, Sissy? Go get it. <laughs> you survived. Good job. I won't do that again. That was ornery. But Winford rules the roost. She knows better than to get into his territory. She's very submissive. Aren't you, sissy? Come here, sissy. Come here. Show me your belly. Come on. That's a good girl. Yes, you are as submissive as they come, aren't you? You are just a little love puppy. She is absolutely a darling. Submissive to all dogs and humans. If she sees somebody, the first thing she does, a new dog, is flop down and show them her belly. Like, I, I submit, I give. Such a beautiful dog. Okay, Sissy, you did good. Good job. We're, we're, we're all done. We're not going to do any more. I know. She protests that way. She fake sneezes to protest. To show her disgust. She's like, come on. Now she'll... Probably try to start talking to me and tell me she wants that to be thrown. I won't say the B word. I think it's her too excited. Sorry, sissy. Show's over. She really gets excited when she bucks like a bronco. No, no. Show's over. It's okay. No. Okay, I'll tell you what, since you got down your belly, one more. Go ahead. Go get it. <laughs> she loves to get that. Alright. 
All done. Good girl, sissy. Good girl. Oh, you're trying to outsmart daddy. You learned that really worked, didn't you? Oh, boy. Ornery, ornery. She used to outsmart Winford when she was a little baby. Because when Winford growls, she has to drop the toy and give it to him. But she got smart. She would flop on her belly and hide the toy underneath of her. And just slide around on the ground like, look, big brother, I'm submitting, I'm submitting. But, of course, not giving up the toy. She's a smart little character. Yes, you are. All right.